Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and my latest public library find was 365 Things to Do with Lego Bricks. Now, this book was put out by DK Publishing in 2016, and I love this book. It's 365 things you can do with Legos, and it's not just building, it's, it's games, it's activities, it's learning. And as I open up to the index here, you're going to notice it's not just a 1 through 365 pages. You see one here and here, because the way they divide it up is the different types of activities. This one is animals and other creatures. This one is tricks and pranks. You've got multiple player games, one player games, and just lots of different ways to break it up. Solo challenges, festivities of fun, um, discover with Lego bricks, it's kind of learning. Uh, and you know, also, it breaks it even further down to maybe how much time you have. Do you only have 15 minutes to do something or do you have a whole hour? Um, you know, what are you looking for with your models? And when we open the book, the first thing is just a basic tutorial on the lingo. Here are the bricks and how, what you name them. Here's their basic interlockings and how they work. Here's some kind of odd shaped plates that you might need to use. So just a basic rundown of Lego and the terminology. And then basics on building, you know, keeping it steady, how bases are important to a model. Think big or small. These models can be as big and small as you want to do them. And technic pieces. A lot of these sets move, so they, they give you a little background about technic pieces. And also how to kind of stop thinking, you know, up and down. You can build sideways. Think about how you can turn these Lego bricks around and use them differently. Um, but then also get creative. They give you building ideas and tips. So plan ahead is very important because there's a lot of these intricate things you might need to think ahead about. Also, look for solutions. Maybe you're trying to build something, but you're missing a piece or a color. Well, how can you fix it? Don't just stop and give up. Say, how can I work around that? Keep an open mind. You might start doing something and have this great picture in your head of what you want to create, but then as you build, it's something completely different. Be open to that. And then also take it further. Once you've built something, all right, I built this one thing, what else can I do with it? Can I do something else? Can I do a stop motion video with it? Can I improve upon it? Can I make with less pieces? Like, just because you're done doesn't mean you have to be done. And I, I love that because that's true with Lego and that's what makes Lego great. And we finally get to our one, two, three. You know, 365 things we can do with Legos. You know, you can make a toy mouse. Here, you know, a lot of us have made iPod or iPhone stands, but here you can kind of make it more unique and turn it like a little dance floor. Here's a mountain climbing game. We're gonna see a lot of these games. And, and the thing about Lego is you're building up. It's three-dimensional. So rather than having a flat board game, you create these kind of up three-dimensional board games that you play that move up. And, you know, usually a lot of them have to do with like, you know, you uh, have a Lego spinner, which they actually have a lot of Lego spinner designs in here, which I think is great. It's a, it's a really cool design and something very useful you can use. But you use a spinner and you move and, you know, do you use one, three, two, four spaces? If you land on a red, you have to move back and each game has a different set of rules. Uh, striking a pose. How, if you don't have a lot of Lego pieces, you don't have to stop. Maybe just kind of put your minifigures in poses with real life objects. Uh, give some love building brain teasers again. We talk about these aren't all just builds, they're games. Piggy banks, I know Lego has sold a lot of piggy banks, but here you can make your own. Show how you feel. This is a great one for little kids or you know, you're kind of learning about emotions. You got create, uh, create Tower of Dudes. I've seen these uh, like with The Simpsons, which I thought was really cool. Uh, building a family tree so you can kind of get interactive with your kids and talking about your family history, but making it fun with Legos. Making a gift box. Now you're going to see lots of different box designs and styles here. And you know, here's like a fun one with a ribbon. And you'll see a few more of those as we go. The rolling sheep game. Here you kind of use gravity and the different weights of a Lego piece uh, model to kind of play a game. Take a trip to Miniland. Now these Miniland characters are very big in the, the Lego land, but there's also something you can do and they actually show you how to build that. And um, So if you're into Miggy Land characters, Day 13 is going to be great for you. Build the tallest tower, seeing how much you can stack Lego bricks. Here's a little like kind of like a, a cup where you try to get something into the frog's mouth through a lever system. Pixel images, a door hanger, lots of fun stuff. Design your own home, but don't design a home. Make it a burger home or a clock home. Have some fun with it build anything, uh, totem poles. Oh, I love this. So you've got letters. I'm a big fan of making letters. I always find that very creative and fun. Don't pick the clown pants. So here you line up some minifigures and one of them has some clown pants on. You have to figure out which one it is and try not to pick it. Um, 
here, make a little with a lot, a lot with a little. So rather than you having all the pieces and designing a huge leviathan, just get a little head out there and some tentacles and voila, the imagination uses the rest. So again, use that imagination. Try to figure out what you can do to build around if you don't have a lot of pieces. Um, more fun spinners, monster trucks. Um, okay, this is great. Create an illusion. I, I love this because I've seen these on Pinterest. Like, how do they do that? How do they do that? And they don't. It's camera angles. And that's really important for those people who are doing mocks and stop motion work. It's here, this kind of, this arch here, this arch here, this doorway kind of looks three-dimensional. But the way they do that is by angling the camera and not actually connecting the pieces. So if you put it at the right angle, it looks complete, but it's really not. And so that's kind of fun about photography. You know, if you do singing with the kids, sing with a Lego microphone. You know, fun things like that. Um, matching games where you, you know, you build like three things that are one way, one that's the opposite, and see which one's identical. Building a little skate park for your minifigures. Getting organized. There's lots of different organization ideas for, he, um, for your stuff. Here it's pens and pencils, but as, you, as we go on, you'll see different organizational techniques. I love spy tools, so cool. Micro robots using a, a useful giant brick so it shows you how to build a huge brick um, from smaller bricks and maybe it's a container to hold something else in it. Um, get a hold of your chart, just containers to hold things, a little uh, fun with shapes. You make these different shapes and create puzzles from those shapes. Uh, creating scale micro houses. Calendars, I think this is great for kids because rather than buying these paper calendars every year, you can create your own Lego calendar and you know, it's every day you get to build something new with it and also you can change up the design if you get bored with this, that's fun. We have another one these little like challenges where you here you build a model and then you memorize it and you take away stuff uh, and then you try to figure out what's different or changed. You've got building your own minifigures. We're talking about movement. Here they create a bear where its eyes move back and forth through this crank. A lot of memory games, uh, kind of like where you just make designs, turn them over. So a lot of memory games in this book. Um, Beetle game, a shooting gallery. We talk about learning the weather. Here's that take a sideways look where you're building sideways. Um, micro scale bases, but here, perk up your pencils with pencil toppers. This is something I actually want to try because I know um, with pencil toppers, it's usually rubber, so they stick. So I'm curious how well these will hold on to a pencil. But I think that's a really great idea. If you're a sports fan, you kind of do like, you know, like a tactical board out of Legos, creating a small seam with Legos. Panning for gold. So you make a, a gold panning sheet here and you know, you do different size holes and you make the gold so they will um, stay on or will shift through and the bigger pieces stay in there. So that's kind of fun setting a seam. Again, learning, kind of explore the human body with Legos. Curves with bricks. This can be very useful for if you're doing your mocks and it kind of gives you different techniques to build these curved items when you've got very square bricks. Uh, connect, play the four in a row game. Oh, stacking your bricks without actually connecting them. So that's kind of fun. Um, go bird watching or build a different birds. Sudoku with Legos. So rather than doing um, numbers, you're doing different colored bricks. We've got a mail holder here, zip lines. Uh, oh, little a can like a, this, they call this a make a lucky dip machine, but I think this would be a cool conversion into like a candy machine, making mosaic work. Tell a tale in six scenes, so you build six models to tell a scene. Uh, mini golf, and a lot of these games require a Lego ball, and I don't see many Lego balls uh, in sets. So that might be a hard piece to find, but you're going to see that ball come up a lot. And this is interesting. So they talk about getting your 3D glasses and how you, with just using black, white, blue, and red bricks, can create a 3D picture. And that's something I really want to try out because I've got lots of these 3D glasses from the uh, Halloween haunts I go to every year. Using colors, uh, making pets, easels. Oh, uh, you know, get creative with your letters. Have them like a house of letters. You know, get fun in learning letters shapes. You know, this will really stick in their minds. This a woodpecker that pecks, so it actually goes down here and kind of pecks as it goes. Building circle planets, which I've always wanted to do like a solar system, so that's cool. Making a micro movie set. Uh, again, mailboxes. Oh, here, if you're big, again, big sports fan, you kind of make like watch your favorite teams progress along the uh, favorite flow chart for sports. Uh, 10 pin ghost bowling, there's that ball again, more spinner ideas and a dragon. Just so many great ideas in this book. And, and this is what I love, like sometimes they take like just everyday things we do or you know, know about like you know, carrying an egg on a spoon, but instead of using a real egg and spoon, you make a Lego spoon and a Lego egg that can break. 
Um, they talk about repurposing set, sets. So you buy a set, you build it, and then, well, let's make it into something different. Maybe it was a pirate's uh, cove, now let's make it into a friend's house. You know, have fun, play around with it. Yes, no paddles, like 3D um, butterfly. And this is kind of cool. Like, they talk about how you can kind of make backgrounds. So you get a picture, a postcard, and then put your object in front of it, take a picture for those backgrounds. Okay, this is a cool design. The mixing slide puzzle, so you can see how you make the slots so these things can move around to make the full picture. I personally hate these games. I never get them right. They frustrate me, but cool design. You won't see me building that. <laughs> Again, we got like bingo, a little snake that can actually open up and close. I mean, it's just so many cool designs that go beyond building, but actually playing with these things. Like a guess the logo game, creating things for the holidays. A chain where you all kind of start building a piece, so like the story chain where you each tell a part of the story and instead you, pe you do a, a story of Lego bricks and you build a model. Magic tricks. At this I actually might want to look at in more detail and maybe come up with my own. We've got another game here where it's like a, a mental puzzle where you have to figure out how to get this farmer and his chickens across without the fox getting them. And in case you need to know, the solution is on 253. So page 253 has a solution to some of these puzzles if you yourself can't figure them out. Uh, racing cars to make them faster, balances, creating gnomes. Again, here we've got a little soccer game with those Lego balls. A little uh, shark's mouth that can open and close, and that becomes a game. Organizing your video games, even though I think we're mostly digital these days. And 3D cards, so you can open them up with a card. And I love this. Pinchers. You actually create little pinchers with Technic uh, pieces. That's so cool. We got another memory test here. Um, fans. Making musical instruments. There's actually a few instruments in this that you can make out of Lego pieces. Here we've got like one of those little rain sticks. So they show you how to do that. Paper airplane launcher. I mean, come on. I love this book. They say sorting your Legos for one day, and I think yeah, that's something some of us love and some of us uh, dread. You got a little pin game here where you have to pull the sticks out and try not to get all the pieces to fall. Bookends. Now, I actually tried to do bookends years ago before I was, uh, when I was just getting in there, and they weren't heavy enough. And here they talk about how you gotta make them thicker and taller because books are very heavy and plastic is very light. So you gotta really test out the weight for those bookends. Um, again, matching scenes, another shooting gallery. One of those three, oh, this is actually decorating your furniture where you can put these Lego pieces around like your table leg. Uh, the alphabet challenge, you have to make different things from the alphabet. This is a little um, hide and seek game with carrots. Here you build a pirate and you hide around the house and the kids have to find it in the different places you, you, you uh, hide it for them. Let's talk about doing a time lapse stop motion build video. Uh, again, picture tricks, taking your Legos to go. They build a pinball machine with that little Lego ball. Just so many cool, interesting designs I never would have thought of. A shuffleboard game. Um, and then we got also we got another storage box here, uh, or a magic, I'm sorry, a puzzle box magic, making a duck pond, <laughs> build a bricky, uh, a bricky instead of a selfie, uh, building your, uh, some places you've seen online, size up challenge, so you try to make something and make it smaller and smaller to see how small you can get and still get people to know it. Um, fooled by the eye and forced perspective, and we're talking about that with pictures, and here you kind of see this hiker looking off in the distance with the sailboat way in the distance, a big city in the mountains, but if you look at the side, they're all the same, but through perspective, they look different. Here, the tennis player looks like he's leaping for the ball, but in reality, it's just the angle he's being held up by those uh, clear pieces. Writing numbers, creating the book covers, your favorite things, make a trophy for the kids to win in these games. A sundial, I mean a working sundial, very practical things. You know, in case you need to tell time by the sun, ship in the bottle, um, put the head in the minifigure and put, instead of put the tail in the basket, uh, tail in the donkey. Oh, guess the minifigure. So here you've got this brick bag with minifigures in it. Well, in reality, you're using a real bag and you put minifigures in it and people put their hands in there and try to guess what minifigure they're feeling. And a lot of times they do that. They build like a Lego model to represent what you'd use in real life. So here it's a Lego bag, but you'd use a real bag. More storage for your kitchen, although I warn against that because kitchens get greasy. Stained glass windows, sort speed, see how quickly you can sort, so maybe you can make sorting fun. Making a zoo, which is something I want to do in the future. We got a little get the hole in the ball game. Using translucent pieces behind a black background, uh, black plates, and then you shine a light through it and it kind of makes that cool light bright effect. Making an easel, a poster cause, uh, coasters, with are decorative coasters. Building a small scale fire department, so you have to buy the big sets. We've got more games here, 
a keychain charm. Oh, here, they talk about how, you know, shoot a black and white photo without black and white film. Just use black, gray, and different shades of gray and white pieces to make it look black and white. I thought that was cool. Find the egg. Oh, here it is. Play snakes and ladders. There's like a lot of games here that you're going to notice that are probably real life. And to avoid copyright, rather than calling it shoots and ladders, we go play snakes and ladders. So that's kind of fun, figuring out how to play these classic games, but with Legos. And I think that's a garbage truck if you hear it. Uh, pen holders, uh, the result of Lego. Oh, use, use Legos for a graph, insects, a uh, batch of Lego baked goods, brick bakery. Maybe you want to check that page 156 out, 1556. If you're listening, then we got build a micro island, display your builds. Um, making odd shapes with Lego bricks, Lego emojis, uh, just chess to a new degree, shapes, I think I did that already, Mighty Mechs, 3D greeting cards, oh a stage, I love this, you can create a stage with maybe put a performance on, goes into more detail how you build that, mini dinosaurs, uh, little uh, mosaics of, your, of a room or cityscape room, building flowers, the books, that's kind of fun because we have that new idea set. Review your favorite sets. This talks about how you can make different tiles of starts of flooring, types of flooring. We've got a paperweights here, and they talk about, you know, again, plastic is light, so just use lots and lots of little bricks to build these big paperweights, and they'll hold down paper for you. A pickup sticks, but instead of sticks, we're using Legos. Um, just centerpieces for your table, so rather than buying centerpieces, make them out of Legos. Here we've got those like 3D board games you're trying to get to the top. Um, Target practice, that's so kind of like ski ball, but with uh, Lego pieces, create a crime scene and try to solve it. The classic go fishing game, but you have to make the duck and the fishing pole out of bricks, sticky holders. So just, oh, a rocker, a little rocker. So that's kind of cool, just using balance. Um, you got another game here where you're just trying to, uh, a relay race, and just a lot of great ideas. And oh, we're talking about learning. Here's a, a fun way to learn about the flags. It's a lot of memorization and geography, but here if you have the kids building the flags, it's gonna stick in their mind. So it might be a fun way to learn geography. Uh, we have a treasure chest. Again, just kind of another um, thing there to store things. You can learn about cells. Uh, this is like the two by four game, but with Lego bricks. Um, the, oh, here you go. Make your own movie, building superheroes, race across the river. Use a coat hanger. I, I never would have thought about using Lego bricks as a coat hanger. And it's probably not, you know, effective. These coat hangers are like cheap, but kind of fun. Um, take photos on your vacation. So, you know, maybe if your kids are dragging their feet and a little bored, say, hey, let's find some interesting places to take your minifigures. Oh, shadows. That was kind of, I never, again, using these bricks in a new way. Create these shadow monsters out of Lego. So you make the monster in Lego and then you shine a flashlight to create the shadow on the wall a weekly planner to keep track of different things you need to do. Oh, a, a stencil drawing machine, which is really good for those artists out there. And I feel like as Lego builders are artists, we're just kind of 3D artists. Uh, five by five challenge where you only use like certain types of bricks. You've got a, a towel hanger here. Um, pick an idea of a hat so you have to pull something out of the hat and build whatever it is. This is a great tool. A pair of calipers for size. So as we all know, basically one brick is equal to three plates. And that's basic, but not all pieces fit that, you know, perfect shape. And so you can use this, like for the round plate here, to figure out exactly how many bricks or plates it is deep or wide for your building. So it kind of, it's like a tool for Lego builders. So I thought that was a really cool, like design and useful. Um, this is a uh, fun, uh, playing knights, wizards, and blacksmith. It's basically rock, paper, scissors, but you have knights, wizards, and, uh, Blacksmiths. Uh, again, another 3D game here. Again, organizing your uh, remote controls for all those TVs and picture frames, making a monorail. Um, just lots of great ideas. And here you build like the basic structure of a horse, but then you turn it into different things. So if you've got a unicorn, a horse, maybe you do a Pegasus. I don't know. You know, what are you going to build? Not, oh, it's not battleship, it's sinking ships. But you get the idea. We've got a non my, uh, small memory box. A mobile, uh, a line of five, creating a music video with your Lego bricks for those music fans. Um, just more, you know, it's more games, more faces, where this is actually a fun game where you're actually making two faces in this one. So it's like those, you know, find the two pictures 
in one, but this time it's fine with Lego bricks. Here are those instruments I was talking about, and I love the idea of making instruments with Lego. That's just, just so creative. I, I love thinking about real life applications. A raffle, raffle machine, um, minifigure charades, those 3D games, uh, treasure hunt where you, you basically you hide different models around the house and the model is a different clue. So maybe you find the sofa in a bookshelf so you know that the next clue will go to the, uh, the sofa and after the sofa, maybe the sofa's got, in the sofa you've got the toilet. So they're different clues, that's a fun game. Uh, so real candles, you build like Lego candles, you've got a container for your dominoes. Oh, create a secret message. So you could actually create with colors and bricks um, secret messages you can kind of pass back and forth. That's a fun little like, you know, game to play. Reach for the stars. You can make this star from a straight line of Lego bricks. I mean, awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, building a ski slope. So they talk about how you can actually make this ramp to have your uh, ski or characters slide down the slalom or even make your own skis. Creating real life objects out of Legos, little scenes. You know, I'm trying to hear, um, hurry here because I, I just love this book so much. There's so many great ideas in it. I, 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 just, I can't talk enough about it. Like the wind turned, uh, wind chime here. I'm sorry, ah, the wind blows. The, I can't, vein, wind vein. Thank you. Uh, a lock, very cool. Uh, a 3D puzzle, um, mosaics, fruit, more learning. Build your own aquarium. I see some really cool ones on Pinterest with that. We got games, oh, making a friendship brick where you share it. Uh, we got those 3D games in this where you're trying to hide and find a treasure. Making a pirate ship or a Viking ship that actually races and sails and with wind. You got here making that bigger brick again. Just so many amazing ideas. Here you've got, you know, again, another um, number screen dominoes. So rather than buying dominoes, you can make them out of Lego bricks, monorails, building something all in one color. Oh, here we go. A marionette puppet. I mean, look at that. Using these chains to create a puppet out of Legos. Uh, <laughs> plan. Oh, shading. How you can actually use your Lego bricks with little tiny like windows to create different lighting effects. And I mean, that might really work well for stop motion. You got a pen case here. <laughs> Chopstick game. More musical instruments. Oh, a cactus. That'd be great for like me because I can't keep plants alive. So hey, I'm pretty sure I won't kill a Lego cactus. <laughs> um, Building, oh, designing your bedroom, making a scale, uh, watch case, just building a playground, a xylophone, yet another musical instrument. Letters, here you've got them 3D and kind of sticking out, and here they're just impressions of letters. So, you know, again, thinking outside the box. So many different ways to do the same thing. Recreating landmarks, a little more, another game. This was, okay, here's a, a jewelry tree to put, looks cool, but this, balance a bird. So because this tail has this big piece here and the bird is here, you can actually balance it on those banana pieces. I mean, that is physics at work. Woohoo, physics! Speaking of physics, you also have stack of minifigures. See how many minifigures you can stack up before they fall. Uh, beat the band, another shooting game. Uh, high glass case, mini safari. Uh, constellations and here th this is like a brick toss game but these are supposed to be real boxes you don't have your minifigures do it stylish pot make your room into a racetrack a working train cars a movie theater so you can just kind of put up your iphone in here to make it look like your minifigures are watching a movie um a real life pinwheel we have winter this is a, a guessing game where you try to figure out the pattern on the other side building a mosaic out of bricks you've got tic-tac-toe uh, play the guessing game in a box, wind chimes, uh, this kind of fun, like this is like a billboard for the people who build big cities. You can actually build it so you can take these pictures out and change it. So if you want to kind of change up your look but without having to build something completely new, change out your pictures. Um, building pencils, now a lot of times they play a pencil prank. Build a pencil out of Legos and fool your friends. Now, these look great but I don't think I'd ever fall for these being a pencil. But hey, give it a try, your choice. A stacking game, more anatomy, bricks, uh, a chain game, see what you can make the strongest bridge out of. A two by two challenge, you're only using two by two bricks and what you make. A territory map, good for geography. DNA, I love these little funny faces, they're kind of cool. This Paris wings actually move. We have another like musical instrument. Oh, stacking Lego bricks. So you kind of stack them like a house of cards instead of like snacking them together. A tissue box, uh, snot beware. Building Animal Challenge, another box, snowflakes. Oh, uh, uh, use those light up bricks to actually create a desk lamp. So that'd be kind of cool. 
many for your mix up, you kind of make, oh, friendship bracelets. You just kind of eat that in the chain, making, making these bugs, pairs, again, some of those matching games. Using that little kind of like play croquet with that little Lego ball, bookmark ends, wreaths, pumpkins, create a cool comic strip. I know there's a lot of programs out there that let you do that. This is a cool display stand. Going to make bricks here to make a kind of like a TV frame, creating 3D shapes. Get away from that square shape, see what you can make. Oh, a display case. So rather than, you know, you can custom make a display case to make these. Uh, rather than, you know, custom, so you can get any size you want, right? And buy one and figure out what will fit where. You make the cases fit what you want to display. Color, oh, it's like a mailbox game um, where you put them through the different doors. This is a throwback because Lego, before Lego made Legos, they actually made wooden ducks. That's kind of a fun, fun throwback to Lego history. Toothbrush holder, again, don't recommend because of germs. A camera, um, a fake mouse pad. Again, I don't think anybody's going to fool for it, but yeah, go for it. <laughs> design a diner. Oh, so we had shadow monsters, but you can actually create shadow puppets to put on a little shadow show. An abacus, uh, like there, in a game. You can do like set up the podium so whoever wins. Easter eggs. A, me a tape measure using Legos, so it's like rather a real tape measure instead of just figuring out how long a Lego is. Checkers with Legos. So I'm trying to speed up here so you got these models because I want to get through this book. It's just so building these different, how many different ways you can build a penguin. <laughs> Again, pencil pot, more realistic. Farm equipment, micro constructions. These little like, you know, ball the box in a box. So just so many great fun ideas of doing, you know, you got these games, just things that can really keep you entertained for hours. And here's that solution page I was talking about. And this was not all created by one person. This was actually put together by all these different builders. These guys all contributed to making this amazing book. And I, I really can't recommend this book enough. I'll put the eBay and affiliate links in the description, but I just love the originality and creativity of these builds. It's not just building models. It's building games. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you can click on the image to watch another video. Until next time, let's keep building together.